Brother Dave and Steve there was up at the house Friday and I was just talking to him and I said always be grateful for what God has done for you. A lot of people don't get a chance at this. You can look around. A lot of people don't get a chance at this. Had to be God calling you. Amen. So a lot of people don't get a chance at it. Praise the Lord. I'll read my scripture so you can sit down and praise the Lord. But Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 1 through 9. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the second time, while he was yet shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it, to establish it, and the Lord is his name. Call upon me, and I will answer thee, and show thee the great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the house of this city, and concerning the house of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mount and by the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men, whom I have slain in my anger and in my fury. And for all those wickedness I will have hid my face from this city. Behold, I will bring, hit, everybody said, health and cure. And I will cure them and reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And it says, And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will build them as the first. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me. I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned, and whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. And I take the title of my vex for, for message from verse 6. And the title of my message, Health, Cure, and Peace. And you may be seated, praise the Lord. Health, Cure, and Peace. I was getting my message while I was getting a paper to write uh, this week, and it was raining Tuesday, and I thought, well, I'll, I got wrote the paper, and then I thought, oh, well, I'll get my message, and you know, I usually get that on Friday, so I said, God, if you want to give me the message today, I'll do it, and, and I said, if it ain't, let there be blank pages, and I opened the Bible, and there was blank pages, so <laughs> I said, well, it ain't the day to get the message, but while I was doing, God was giving me a message to write down to the paper, and it was out of Lamentations, written by Jeremiah 2. And it was about, amen, Israel going into captivity. And it was saying, why does the city set in solitary? A city, a people that was so great amongst the nation, now she is in tributary. Why would a nation like this? And I titled that paper, Alone in the world without God. So that's what happened. And here God is restoring them back. They're not going to be alone in the world without God no more. But you don't want to be caught in alone in the world without God. There's nowhere else to go. There's nothing else to go. You can't find no peace. You can't find no cure. You can't find no healing. You can't find nothing, amen, without, amen, God. That's the only way we can find how you, that our minds, amen, can live right, do right, and not right is by the Word of God. So we need health and cure and peace and truth, and that's what I want for this church. We here have a choice alone in the world without God or health, cure, peace, and truth. You can make that decision yourself today what you want to do. Give me a minute. It, scripture tells us everything hangs on faith in Jesus. Everything that you have hangs on faith in Jesus. It says faith is a substance. It's a thing that, uh, it means it's something that undergirds or upholds, it's like a girder in a bridge. That bridge is held by that girder. And the only way that you can go is in the natural is going someplace if them girders hurl them bridge up while you're going. And if something happens, it falls, you can't get to where you're going. 
And faith is what holds us up to get us to where we're going. Amen. Faith is what holds us up. Amen. To keep our stability in an unstable world. We see, I, I read about, you know, up at Point Pleasant there in West Virginia when that bridge fell that goes over to Gallipolis, Ohio. And they come to find out, they said, wait, it happened during rush hour. Over 46 people died. And what happened there, he had all determined by one link, said one weak link in that chain is what caused that bridge to fail. Amen. One weak link in your life can cause you to keep not have help, not have cure, not have peace, not have truth. Amen. Just one little link, hallelujah, in your life can cause that. When the rich man came to Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus said, he said, what can I do to have eternal life? He said, Keep my commandments. He said, these things have I done from my youth. But he, Jesus said, yeah, but there's one link in your life. There's one week in your life. You, you need to sell what you have and give to the poor because that's where your heart is. God told us to possess as though we possess not. It don't mean you can't have money. It don't mean you can't have things. But don't let them things rule you. Don't let them be the God. <laughs> be as though, hallelujah, amen, that you don't have anything. The Bible said even when you're married, be as so you're not, not that you can run around with women or something, hallelujah, amen, but praise God, it said for you to put God first in your life and cut health, cure, and all these things will come. <laughs> Dwayne done talked enough about Israel how they wouldn't serve God. But now God is telling them, I'm going to reconfirm the covenant with you. I'm putting girders back under you. It means like concrete. The girders that holds us up. If the girders give way, we can't reach our destination. If faith gives away, we can't reach our destination. Jesus told Peter, he said, listen, Satan desires to have you. He wants to sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail thee not. Hallelujah. Your faith, hallelujah. you got to hang on to that faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what's going to keep you going. Praise God. Sometime I know, hallelujah, faith comes by hearing. The Bible said God chose the foolish of preaching to save the world. How can you hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except he be sent? Hallelujah. Let me tell you something, brother. God, my, I was laying in bed thinking like, thank God what's he going to do for a minister he said I just might make a minister out of him hallelujah glory to God oh praise God amen brother I feel the Holy Ghost Jesus touch him men don't pay ministers God makes ministers. Men don't make ministers. Don't worry what man's got to say. Hear what God said. Listen to God in your heart. How do you? What God would have you to say? I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. Pray. Eat of a shot of us. He made one out of me. He can make one out of anybody. Praise the Lord. I have prayed for you. Faith. Faith. Greek word means credence. More conviction of religious truth. Your reliance upon Christ for your salvation. Peter, if that gives way, Jesus said you can't make it. But I want you to hold on to faith. When Jesus was weeping over the children of Israel upon the mount, he said, I wonder when I come, will I find faith on earth? And we see what all is going on. we already been warned of God. Things are going to wax worse and worse. We've been warned of God that people, praise the Lord, there's going to be a famine in the land. The Bible said not for bread or wine. 
Hey, but for the hearing of the Word of God. That don't mean nobody don't want to hear the Word of God. It's for the hearing. Nobody's going to be preaching it. People will desire to have it, but nobody ain't preaching it. Hallelujah. Amen. They said they'd go from the north to the east and run to and fro. Hallelujah. To hear the Word of the Lord and couldn't hear it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Somebody better raise up. Hallelujah. To preach the truth. Hallelujah. Praise God. We can't have peace. We can't have pure. We can't have his name without truth. Truth is the one hallelujah, that hands is on it. Our faith in God. I already wonder. I wonder when it comes. There's going to be a famine for the hearing. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When you don't hear no word, you ain't got no faith. And like I said, God chose the fools to preach and to save the world. And how can you preach? Go to seminary. <laughs> no. You got to be sent by God. <laughs> Look. Look at all the people. Moses said, God, I can't speak. The Bible said he was an eloquent man. Me. But I don't know what to say. Well, I'm going to get somebody there to stay with you. Hallelujah, amen. You ain't going to get by that easy. What a miracle it be, brother, for you to go to preaching. Well, one more, you just woke up and got put. Paul said, I didn't confer with man. Yes, you need a preacher in your life if you ain't a preacher. Preacher, I don't need no preacher in my life because I got Jesus. <laughs> I'm under him, hallelujah, amen. But I'll tell you, till I got saved, until I got in, I need a preacher, hallelujah, amen, because that's the only way that faith comes, hearing by the word and word preached by the minister, hallelujah, amen, praise God. But there ain't nothing strange that God would put in your mind. Paul said, I didn't re- talk to man. I didn't go up and confer with Peter. I didn't go talk to James or John. I went into the heart of Arabia. And there I met with the Lord. And the Lord gave me what I got. Hallelujah. What I got didn't come from man. Hallelujah. It come from God. You got to have that spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Like that spirit down there the other day in that water hole. Hallelujah. I want to tell you one thing. I said when we went in that old water hole, it was cold. Hallelujah. Amen. But when you got down there and I put him down in the name of Jesus, it seemed like God just put a water heater in there. I could just stand there. Oh, God, you can feel the Holy Ghost. I don't want to never quit using the creek. I can't stand that old tub, hallelujah. Amen. I love to. That's a Holy Ghost place. Now, praise God. Take off your shoes because you're in holy ground. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. I felt better yesterday. I felt a long time. I need that experience, brother. Glory! Hallelujah! And I, I loved Heb. I, I really, I wish you. He said, Brother, can I pray before you do this? I told him Dwayne was going to pray. And I said, We're going to pray, Dwayne. He said, I'd like to pray. I said, Sure. I'd love to have that recorded. I've never baptized one. That's been so sincere and so convicted. So sincere and so convicted. Just talked out to God. Oh my God, I wish you'd have been there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. He never told nobody. The God always showed me. He said, if you see somebody runs here as fast, runs out as fast as they come in, you better pray for that one. But you get one down in here and he won't want to leave. Don't have to worry about that. Well, here's one of them right here. He was hanging in there. He didn't go up them ladders. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God was upon him. Hallelujah. Amen. God's going to take care of you, brother. You know, my shot all the time. Oh, God's going to give you the Holy Ghost. He's going to do it. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Don't know nothing. 
What a miracle. But God is a working miracle. Bible said they seek to and fro to hear the word of God. Not hear it. You might say, well, there's millions of Bibles in the world. But the scripture said they one would hand it to the other. And they read me. And he said, I can't understand it. You read it. It takes the Spirit of God to understand it. You better... I, I was like I told you, I said, you better thank God God has saved your soul. You better thank God that God gave you a chance at this. Oh, God, we take this thing, hallelujah, that's nothing. But God give us something, hallelujah. Amen, praise the Lord, that the whole world can't talk about. You've got a lot of people going to church, but you ain't got very many Christians. The Bible said, wide is the way it leads into destruction, and many go therein, but wide now. Is the way that leadeth into righteousness, and only few there be that find. Few there be that find it. But now he's chastised them. He brought peace and health and cure to them. Like the old song says. Bridge over troubled waters. Faith in the girders that holds it up. That bridge up there was called the silver bridge. One link, one bad link, caused people not to leave, reach their destination. And they still ain't rested today. One bad link in your life can keep you from going to heaven. And some will be going to church and have it in there and keep going and going and going and going, but they'll never make it to heaven because they got that weak link. Just one link. It's bad. I thank God for that Holy Ghost that leads us and guides us into all truth. Forty-six people, like I said, lost their lives. In the scriptures I read from Jeremiah, it was confirming his covenant with Israel. Before, like somebody done said this morning, Brother Dwayne said, they had to sacrifice bulls and goats and the blood of all animals being there before they come in. But God said there's going to be something different now. There's going to be joy. There's going to be praise in the house of the Lord. And people's going to see, hallelujah, amen, what I've done for you. And they're going to get upset. But I'm going to bless you beyond blessing that your enemy will look at you, hallelujah, amen, and fear you because they'd say, look what God has done. There was a time that people knew the God of Israel Every nation feared the God of Israel. Every nation should fear the God of the church. Hallelujah. Every nation should fear. Amen. Amen. But if he's singing sacrifices of praises, only thing, whenever they brought the ark into Psalmist Temple, the only thing was in there just two tables. Aaron's rod that buddied. The miracle was gone. The manna that they'd eat. God had fed them in the desert. The bowl of manna, it wasn't there. Nothing left but the two tables of stone. And brother, that's the main thing. Don't never let your ark be absent of those two tables of stone. Always have the laws of God in your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. And you'll still possess. God came into that ark. Hallelujah. Amen. With just, He didn't worry about the manna. He didn't worry about the rod. Hallelujah. He worried about that the law of God was still there. That truth still prevailed. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what he worried about. He loved us. Shut up. That's what God cares about. It's truth in your life. Truth. Truth in your life. You know, I was J. 
Jesus had his own wilderness. He had his only desert, solitary place. Satan told him, he said, once you turn these, he's hungered. Forty days he fasted. Satan asked him, so why don't you turn these stones into bread? He said, thou shalt not live by bread alone. But for every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And the Bible then says, he takes him up and shows him, or into the temple, and shows him, said, why don't you cast yourself down right into the house of God? God will try to get you right in here. He'll bring temptation to you in the church. Actually, you know, he took him up to a high temple, showed him all the wonders of the world. All these things will I give you if you'll just bow down and worship me. He said, get behind me, Satan. And said, the Bible said that Satan left him. And the angels came and found him and ministered unto him. When you hold out, you've done all that you can do. When you've gone as far as you can go, hallelujah, amen. God will send somebody, hallelujah. He'll send healing. He'll send a cure. He'll send peace, hallelujah. He'll send truth, hallelujah, amen. Praise God. When you say, hey, I've done all I can do, I can't do no more, hallelujah. I want to tell you one thing. It ain't all God can do, hallelujah. He can turn things around, hallelujah, faster than anyone else. I don't know anybody that can fix problems as fast as he can. I had a I I, I seen a song, heard a song. It said, uh, "Sometimes we need a mountain. Sometimes it takes a mountain." Sometimes it takes a trouble sea. Sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold of me. That's the way it does. Sometimes people has to be get. Brother here was talking to me. He said, you had some problem with his heart. He wasn't really scared in it. He's been a long time coming down here. But he said, God woke him. One night he heard his, his name called out, David. Sometimes it takes something different to get a hold of you. A mountain. It took a mountain to get a... They children of Israel went down there and they done made them a golden calf. And God said, you bring them up here before this mountain, hallelujah. And the Bible said the mountain began to shake and the smoke come out, hallelujah. And the earth quaked, hallelujah. And they began to cry out, oh God, have mercy on us, hallelujah. Amen. There's a, a mountain, hallelujah. Amen. But that same old mountain, hallelujah, that they cried out to, hallelujah. There was Caleb, hallelujah. A man that could match the mountain, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. I love the one that can match the mountain, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. When Caleb... You know, Caleb was a Kenzanite. He, he was counting a dog. He wasn't a Jewish person. Caleb wasn't. But he was bold. And God told Moses, said, you tell him, he gets what he wants. Whatever he wants when they get out of here. For 40 years, they crawled around that mountain. 40 years. They don't say it said it's in the wilderness, but he was around the mountain because Jesus... Uh, Joshua come to him and said, God doesn't say, how long are you going to come past this mountain? Going around and around and around and around and never getting nowhere. But old Caleb, he had been up there and he had seen that place. They janked up there. He wasn't looking at the janks. He said they got something better up there. I'm not looking at the janks. I'm looking at them grapes that hangs down to the ground. 
I'm looking at all this. That's when some of us, hallelujah, ought to think. I'm not looking at the giants. I'm not looking at the devil. I'm looking at God as a healer. I'm looking at God. Cast out devils. I'm looking at God. How it brings a cure. I'm looking at God. Hallelujah. Amen. It gives us peace and truth, Brother Clarence. Hallelujah. I'm not looking at what Satan does. I don't care what Satan does. He ain't got no power on me. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. We got power. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just don't get stuck on the mountain. Sometimes it takes a trouble sea. It took a trouble sea for old Jonah, didn't it? Old Jonah wasn't going to serve God. He wasn't going to do what God said to do. God said, Jonah, I can change your mind. <laughs> He's a mind changer. <laughs> <laughs> he's a hard changer amen don't think he ain't got a way to deal with you amen praise God he can deal with you and put you in a place amen praise the Lord he done made a fish for him dude not only did he have trouble seas he had fish fish had him for breakfast three days and our Jonah Oh, when he got out of there, he made a three-day journey in one. I'll serve God now. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm, go I'm going to church now. Hallelujah. People get, I want to tell you, God can put you in a place that you'll not wait on somebody to get the car ready. You'll get out and run to church. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm going. Hallelujah. I'm going. <laughs> An old song, I'm going that way. Hallelujah. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Well, I like people like Paul. Troublesome waters didn't bother him. All hope was gone. All hope was gone. Worst storm I'd ever seen. Never been a storm like that before. Ship breaking up. Losing everything. Paul said, Angel stood before me. Told me, Fear not. Everybody just hang on to the ship and we're going to make it in. Hallelujah. Just hang on to the church and you'll make it. Because the church going in. Hallelujah. Just hang on to the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. God knows how to get a hold of you. But he gets you into a place just like old Paul. He knows how to get a hold of Paul. He put him blind out there on the way to Damascus. Took him down and Paul knew who it was. He said, Who art thou, Lord? He said, I am Jesus. How can you kick against a brick. Jesus can put you in a place that you will serve him whether you want to or not. Paul said, hold on. But then people would have never known about the miracles of God. They'd have been lost on that ship. But they seen Paul, that viper, hang on, he shook it off in the fire. They never experienced that. Just like them people up there, they didn't get across that bridge. They never experienced what they was getting ready to experience. They didn't get to go do what they wanted to do. They had plans. Plans to do something. You might have plans in your life right today. But if you ain't got faith girded up your bridge, you're destined to fall. Just one link weak, one weak link can cause it to fall. And great be the fall of it. How far can you fall? All the way to hell. Hear me. One man said one time, said, how far does this hole go? The other one said, it goes all the way to hell. That's where it goes to. And I don't want no part of it. But then he said, sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold of me. The desert where God fed with the manna from heaven. Clave a hole in the rock and they drunk. The desert ain't going to hurt you. But that's the first thing Hagar done when she had Abraham's child. 
Abraham's wife, Sarah, began to lash out at her. She took off. Got a little upset. Didn't have enough food to feed her. Went out into the land, into the desert. The Bible said he found, the angel found her sitting by a water fountain. What are you doing out here? Well, because Sarah, so don't you tell you what to do. You go back home. You do what they say to do. If you're out there crying and begging somebody messed something with you in the church, I don't tell you what to do. Get back to the church and do what they tell you to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I'll make a nation out of you. God said, I'm going to I'm going to make a nation out of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's time. Praise God. We all understand that God, hallelujah, amen, does the things. We better acknowledge God in all of our ways and he will direct our steps. Don't go to jumping around somewhere where you don't know where you're going. Hallelujah. Amen. And think, I'm just going because somebody upset me out here. Amen. Don't get upset. Hang on to Jesus. And he'll make a way when there ain't no way. He'll bless you when there's no way to bless. <laughs> Old man said, I need something to get a hold of me. God said, I can give you something to get a hold of you. You know... Paul, in Galatians, he said, O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you not to obey the truth? What's happened to you? What's gone wrong? What Paul was saying, you started out in the Spirit, but now you've turned back to the flesh and to the law. He said, if I come in ministry... To you in the spirit and do miracles or what among you, do I do them by the law or by the spirit? Answer me that. Hallelujah. People today are thinking, amen, that the flesh, that they, they got their dependence in the flesh. But like Dwayne said, we cannot even know God without the Spirit in us. Uh, amen. You can hear people out here, and I said, talk to Brother Dave today. I said, talk about people blaspheming. You can't even blaspheme God without the Holy Ghost. Uh, you can't call Him by His name. You can't even, you don't even know what the name of Jesus is uh, until you get the Spirit of God in you. Yes, if you're on your way, Brother David, you know. Because God knows what you're going to get before you even get it. Some people, He reveals to them. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? We ain't even heard such. There are some disciples up there said, Have you see, received the Holy Ghost? Well, we ain't heard anything whether there even be a Holy Ghost or not. And the Bible said, How was you baptized? That's the first question. How was you baptized? Always baptized under John's baptism. He said, John only baptized for repentance. He said, he took them and baptized them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and laid hands upon them, and they received the Holy Ghost. They received the Holy Ghost. Like I said, it's a gift. You keep living for God, it's a gift. It'll come to you. Might be before you even leave this church. Amen. That's God's. Hallelujah. Amen. Before you leave this church, I'm looking for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. But I want to tell you something. God has got a mountain. Hallelujah. Amen. That can stop you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But we don't want no mountain. Hallelujah. In a way, we want to be the men hallelujah, that can change mountains. Hallelujah. That can match mountains. I want a bunch in here that don't care to climb a mountain. Hallelujah. Amen. And not afraid of the troubles on the mountain because greater is he that is in you than he that that's in the world. Hallelujah. You've got God in you. You don't have to worry about nothing else. Hallelujah. Nothing. I said when they had, when they had a tsunami over there, and they found this mattress with a little baby laying in the middle of that mattress. Thousands of people have been washed off. 
But here's lays a little baby in a mattress. Don't tell me God's hand ain't in everything. Something big like that, it's bigger than what I got. Hallelujah. But God is able to put you in your place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But also, He's able to make you what you should be. Man. The man said, Listen, he said, I faced a mountain that I've never faced before. That's why I'm calling on you, Lord. I need you like I never have before. Sometimes it takes a mountain, and sometimes it takes a troubled sea. Sometimes it takes a desert to get a hold of me. He said, your love is so much stronger than whatever troubles me. Sometimes it takes a mountain for to trust and believe. Sometimes God has to do something in it. He said, whatever life would throw my way, but this I will admit. He brought me to my knees. Indeed, Lord, and I'm not ashamed to say, sometimes it takes a mountain. Sometimes it takes a mountain to let you realize that God, He's not the God of the valley. Just the valley. We think He's where it's easy walking and everything. But He's God when you're climbing that mountain. When you're going up, He's God when you're facing the giants. He's God, hallelujah, when everything's going on. When other people say, amen, this can't happen, Brother Jay. Hallelujah. He's still God, hallelujah. When people say, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. I, can't, I, I don't believe nothing of it, Brother George. Hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's what we got to be, get ourselves into that mind. God, I'm ready. I'm willing. Hallelujah. Amen to go. And I want to tell you one thing. I said, praise God. I thank God what I felt yesterday down there in a hole of water. Hallelujah. Oh, I know that God is still around. Amen. The warmth. The warmth. I walked down them steps, I done told you, in the coldness of the water. Because it was cold. I, I know it probably at least 38. It was cold. It was cold. But once I got down there and I started doing the work of God. Glory to God. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take nothing for it. Hallelujah. No, I'm not start using a tub all the time. Praise God. I want the water hole. Because there's something in that water hole. What it, brother? The Spirit of the Lord was there. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost was there. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I believe you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Fill him with the Holy Ghost, God. Let the, let the, oh, oh, God, let the Holy Ghost. Get Yes, God. Give it to him. Lord, let the Spirit of God. Yes, God. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. He shut up for Oh, God. Oh God, I'm about to He love us. He Jesus. He love us, Jesus. He love us, Jesus. He come us, come on. He shall come us. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh God, fill him. Fill him. I want that holy ghost. That holy ghost is for me. Run out here, fill him. Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Halavashataya. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, God. Yes, Oh, yes, Jesus. 
Today be the gift that it come. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, let your spirit come in. Hallelujah, God. God of Asataya. Jesus, Lord, let your spirit come down. God, it has saved. Yes, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, God. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Just go up and get a song, sing. Just go. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God, we honor you, Lord. We praise you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, hallelujah.